Are you ready to start traveling again? There are five things that you need to do before you're ready to travel. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Haley with HaleyWithTheFlare.com. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and also follow me over here on social. Today, we are gonna talk about this new blog post that I just put up. It is five things that you need to do if you are ready to start traveling again. First things first, you need to check your passport expiration dates. As international travel starts to open back up, there's going to be some countries that you may want to travel to that require you to have a valid passport that is valid through within six months of your trip. So if your passport expires a month or two after your projected trip, you could be denied entry into that country. So now's a good time. We're not doing much. Make sure you check on your passport expiration date. Number two, how many points and miles do you have? Now is a great time. Log into your hotel partners. Do you have rewards in there? How many points do you have that can go towards free stays? Check your airline accounts. How many miles do you have? Check your travel credit cards. Take a tally of your current inventory. This will help you plan for that trip, especially if you've been using travel credit cards. You've been building up points, so you could possibly get some freebies. Number three goes hand in hand with the last one, but you need to tally up all your credits. I personally had a bunch of flights, cruises, and whatnot cancel last year, so I have a lot of credits. Take tally of all your credits on top of all those points and rewards that we just talked about, and make sure you're using your credits first, and also make sure you check their expiration date. You don't wanna lose out on those. Number four, you need to check your TSA pre-check, your global entry and clear memberships. Just like your passport, those can expire. You want to make sure that those are up to date because the last thing you wanna do is get stuck in the regular TSA line, having to take off your shoes, empty out your laptops, your cameras. I'll tell you, that's the primary reason I have global entry is so I have TSA pre-check because I have so much gear when I travel and I don't wanna take out my laptop. I don't wanna take out my shoes. I don't wanna take out all the cameras, the lenses. So make sure you're up to date on that because some of the processing times with all the COVID office hours could be a little longer than normal. So check up on those. And number five, you need to read up on entry requirements and vaccine passports. It's not just other countries that are going to require vaccine passports. There's some states like Hawaii that's dabbling with allowing people to skip their quarantine if they have a vaccine passport. And then there's also gonna be some destinations that even if you have a vaccine passport, you still may have to test to come back home like in the United States. So make sure you stay on top of that. Now is a great time to also reach out to a skilled travel advisor. That's right, I said skilled first because they're not all created equal. Just like, you know, all doctors aren't created equal. You want to find a good travel advisor. I have a recommendation for one down here. He was my travel advisor before he was my best friend. Jason Poole, he is wonderful. It is their job to stay up to date on all these changes and what's going on. So utilize them. They're free for you to use and they're following this even closer so that you don't have to. And a little extra tip number six, now is the time to start stocking up on travel size items like Lysol wipes and sanitizer. I'm gonna have a new video next week, so make sure you check that out. I post videos every Wednesday on some great Dollar Tree items that will not break the bank. So stock up on your wipes, stock up on your mask, stock up on sanitizer, and you will be good to go. Thank you so much for watching today, everybody. I will be back next week with a new video. Like I said earlier, I post on here every Wednesday and I am live on HAPS doing two different travel features at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. On Mondays, I do a travel topic, an overview presentation. And then on Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on HAPS, which will also broadcast to here on YouTube, guys, which is why you've probably seen some of these videos. I do a travel talk show with my favorite travel advisor with all the current new news, items pertaining to travel, as well as answering questions. And if you want to join our community, go to todayintravel.live. I'll link it down below. It is a sharing community. It's not just all about me or my friend. This is a great place to swap information. Thank you guys so much for watching today, and I will see you guys later. Bye.